Hey, what's up YouTube and thank you for joining me again. This is my Arkansas leaf cutter ant colony, but first I would like to start off by apologizing for not making a video in over two months. I was in a move uh, and now I'm done and I'm settled into my new house. So I should be back onto my schedule for a video every one to two weeks. So this is my Arkansas leaf cutter ant colony, like I said, the scientific name is Trachymerma exceptionalis. And something very unique about these ants, but other ants in their genus do it as well, but specific to these ants and uh, not many other ants in this area, is that they grow fungus. And uh, they eat this fungus, and that's their primary source of food, but they also complement that source of food by eating other things like honey. They have not accepted any uh, meaty foods I've give, given them, like moths or, uh, or uh, crickets or anything like that. But this is their fungus, and how they grow this fungus, they store it on their bodies in the winter time. So all this fungus will die during the winter, and then in the summertime, they grow it just like it like kind of spawns miraculously. It's pretty weird. And they fertilize it, and the fungus gets its nutrients from caterpillar poop. So the poop, they like grind it up into little small pieces, and then the fungus grows on that. And like I said, the fungus, it, it's on their bodies, and they, it comes off their bodies uh, in the springtime. And so they just collect more and more uh, caterpillar poop. And this is actually what the caterpillar poop looks like right here. It's these little balls, but except they have lines in them. And you can find this on uh, sidewalks underneath an oak tree. And I just collect that, and it, it took me about five minutes to get all to get that right there and that's enough for a few weeks for them not a few weeks I'd say like two weeks and uh, as their fungus as more of this fungus grows uh, it will take more caterpillar poop to sustain the garden and uh, this is their setup that they have them in that I have them in if I zoom out here it's a tackle uh, fishing tackle box and they are have access to this chamber this chamber this chamber and this chamber these four right here uh, and this one uh, they will not be allowed to ever get into here this is their main one this is like their moisture it it provides moisture to the nest and it provides moisture to this chamber and this chamber which they do not have access to yet but uh, a main component in growing their fungus is humidity humidity is key um, they uh, need it really bad in order to grow it if it's dry for more than uh, two days, all the fungus is like dead, just straight up dead. So one of the things I have to do on the on a daily basis is I just spray the top of this lid with some water from a, uh, a mister, and that's how they get their moisture needs. But also, this cotton ball right here, it gives them uh, an extra source of humidity inside their nest because this is not a this is not enough. Even I have a whole on the side, I don't know if you can see them drilled to let the uh, to let it in to let moisture come through. And connecting are these holes right here, and it connects them to their different children. They have two trash piles, one right here and one right there. They uh, have not occupied these three chambers right here yet with any fungus, but as this uh, fungus ball grows which it will outgrow this one chamber within uh, within this summer, it will uh, start piling over into this next one. And yeah, that's how these ants work. They're pretty cool watching them collect the poop and then you can see them distribute it across the fungus. And it's just cool seeing the progression of it get bigger and, and bigger as we go. But uh, I'll keep you guys updated on everything that happens with these guys. And I uh, hope to see you in the next adventure. Peace out, YouTube.